You know Jesus shall descend during the last days But how exactly will he do this? Can a sinner like you who's now redeemed But not perfected Be after God's heart For you still of your old self you were saved by jesus not counted as a sinner because of god's salvation this does not mean you're free of sin can you be saintly if never changed Can man 
complete God himself The world's changed And so too is the flesh Transfigured on the mountains The person of God He's clothed in pure and light, a crown upon his head. The world under his feet and a gold sash around his chest. His eyes like flames of fire, a sharp sword in his mouth. And in his right hand seven stars are held. The mountains shout for joy and the waters laugh replies The sun, moon, and stars follow chosen paths They welcome the true God who went to six thousand year plan
God is the source of the life of man. Heaven and earth live by His power. Nothing alive can free itself from God's rule and authority. It doesn't matter who you are. Everyone must obey God. Submit to His dominion, to His control and commandments. Maybe you are eager to find the light.
say is your future and fate in your own hands you always run away want to take a worldly path why can't you get out why do you waver so you wander for so his plan so settle and submit to god allow him to complete you only people like this are wise the simplest way The Bible trails the ages of history People treat it like God to such a point The Bible takes God's place in the last days This is one thing God hates In His Is that
of God. In hearing truth and word of Life, you may think only one word a lie. Out of thousands of these words, with your thoughts and with the Bible, the Bible, seeking that ten thousandth of words, God advises humbleness to not be overconfident, to not exalt yourself. Aren't you such foolish 
their stubborn and ignorant people gain God's blessing? How could it be possible for them to behold the Messiah? They opposed Jesus because they didn't know the way of truth he spoke, didn't understand the Messiah or the Holy Spirit's work, having never seen or been with him. They paid empty tributes to his name, while opposing his substance by Bye. 
has come down on the Mount of Olives in the east. He's long been on this earth, no more son of Jews. He's lightning of the east, for God is resurrected. He left men and now reappears, full of his glory. God is he who was. Worship be for the ages, the baby forsaken by the Israelites from that phase. He's the all glorious, almighty God of the present age. All he wants to achieve is nothing but this. People all come before the throne of God. and acknowledge Him. All people trust and are subject unto Him. For men, God was the spirit they couldn't see or touch. Because of God's three stages of work on earth. The creation, redemption, and destruction. He appears at different times to work amongst men. His first arrival was the angel of redemption he came into a jewish family of course god worked in person to use his incarnate flesh as a sin offering in his redemption work so god was first seen by jews in the age of grace
decades of life's experience Knowing the Creator's sovereignty A person has true appreciation For life's value and meaning With deep knowledge of life's purpose Understanding and experience Of the Creator's sovereignty They'll submit to His authority They know the meaning of God making man They know to worship the Creator All that man has comes from the Creator And will return to Him soon If one views life as an opportunity To experience Creator's sovereignty To understand His authority to perform one's duty If one views life as an opportunity To fulfill one's mission as a created being One will have the right view of life And live a life blessed and guided by Him They'll walk in the light, know His sovereignty Come under His dominion to his wondrous deeds and his powerful authority. This type of person will understand by the Creator's sovereignty, man's birth and death are arranged. Predestined by His authority When one can truly understand this They will be calm when facing their death They'll let go of their worldly possessions And let them go peacefully Rather than fight and dread it blindly Submit to it happily Welcome the last life juncture Arranged by the Creator They'll embrace it without struggle And submit to all that follows If one views life as an opportunity has been revealed not only in the age of grace thou or last days but throughout the 6,000 year management plan the last day's work is judgment, wrath and chastisement the work commenced in the age of love Redemption was in the age of grace And the work done in the last days Brings every 
To the moment he started 
gave to Through his lifetime, Peter suffered hundreds of painful trials. Such refinement was the foundation of his supreme love of God. It was the most significant experience of his whole life. His love of God was thanks to his will, but more his refinement and suffering. Such suffering was his guide to loving God. Was the most memorable thing to him. If people don't go through the pain of refinement when loving God, their love follows its natural course, overrun with preferences. If people don't. Refinement when loving God, their love is full of Satan's thoughts and cannot satisfy God's will. Resolving to love God is not the same as truly loving God. One may only hold in their heart, loving, satisfying Him as if it lacked. Human ideas, as if it were all for God. But before God, all of this cannot be commended or blessed. Even when one may grasp and know all truths, that's not a sign of truly loving God. Though people may have understood many truths, without refinement they are incapable of putting these truths into practice. Only when they are refined can people truly understand the real meaning of these truths and appreciate them. That time they are able to practice truth properly, as God wills. Then will their human thoughts recede, human naturalness reduce. And at that time, will all their human emotions be lessened too? It's only then that all they do truly expresses loving God. The truth. Of loving God bears not fruit through knowledge of words or wishes or understanding, but demands a price be paid. It requires man to suffer, to suffer much in refinement. Only then will man's love be pure and satisfy God's heart. 